My name is Jan McCulloch and I'm an artist based in Belfast in Northern Ireland. Tricks of the Trade is an installation of sculptures, structures and photographs which explore spaces of construction. I'm interested in the places where people construct, assemble and make things and the rituals and rhythms of the work that goes on in those places. I have been photographing spaces like hardware stores, workshops, garages and sheds for a number of years and for this work I wanted to translate aspects of those images into sculptural environments too. The frames on the prints in galleries two and three reference colours in the objects from the spaces the installation is based on, so biro blue, rust orange and pink cloth lilac. The pink shade that Gallery 3 is painted in is called Docket Pink, referencing a receipt you get from a builder's yard. There were certain colours repeated in machinery on the walls and floors of the environments as well. For example, the green in the first gallery is a, is a mossy green and it really reminded me of the external building yards and outsides of these workspaces. It also has quite a chemical hue to it as well. I like the way materials inhabit a space and especially with smell. When you walk into these galleries you're hit with this scent of oil, timber and metal. That experience of, of placing you within an environment with the sense of smell is something I really wanted to explore a bit further and something I worked on with Wendy Erskine in the accompanying text for the show. I was also interested when building this middle gallery space and how I could navigate someone to walk around the structures. A bit like when I'm using a camera, I move my own body to position the frame of the photograph and to change the image. I wanted to see what kind of different viewpoints I could create within that structure. Photography has always been and continues to be the backbone of my practice, even though the final object I present may not be a photographic print. In this show, it's primarily sculpture. There's only a series of three very small prints in the gallery. For me, the camera acts as a sort of instrument for dissecting and analysing space. When thinking of the exhibition, I knew I had to provide some form of text to provide context for the viewer about the work. I was really lucky to work with Wendy Erskine, who's a brilliant writer from Belfast. The text is designed to accompany the work, but at the same time exist on its own as well. I think when you engage with Wendy's text, you're almost dropped into one of those spaces that you might be familiar with. The booklet for the text was designed by Sean Greer at Non-Graphic Studio. I knew I wanted the text to be a physical object that came from a DIY culture. So it's almost like when you fold it out, it's like a sheet of instructions. We wanted it to reflect in quite a subtle way the research that had gone into the work and the colour palette involved. As the research for the design, we've been looking at a lot of kind of DIY packaging, the instructions you get with flat packed furniture, the promotional posters in hardware stores and the fonts and the colours involved with that.